this guy, uh, Gerald Hayward, actually, like a long time ago, I saw him playing. Just seeing how like his adrenaline and his presence was on that stage, like because the camera's moving back and forth, you see everybody dancing, you see all the, the musicians. But when I saw him playing, and there's one thing he always did, and he still does it to this day, was when he, he stands up when he hits the crashes or whatever. And that's something that's just like, when I saw that, it was like, yo, this dude is crazy. You know what I mean? Like, and it made me want to just like, I wanted to capture that for myself. I wanted people to see me do that. You know what I mean? Cause I'm in church, so I'm like, I can't be having people, you know what I'm saying? Like praising God and looking at me too. But you know, I just, um, that kind of made me want to venture off into like, you know, the other world of, you know, of music. And I was about 20, I'd say like 22 or 23 or something like that. When I like really, really got like, I was kind of out on the road and then it went, even bigger, you know, I got with Jill Scott, that was my real first big tour of my life, you know what I mean? And it was like, okay, I'm understanding it. I'm understanding how to keep these gigs and how to, you know, make the artists happy and make the crowd happy and how to keep everything moving the way that it should move. I used to love, you know, all the other kids because of their certain sounds. But it was like when I got with um, with Mapex, to be honest, it was like it had the overall round sound for every genre that I was playing with. Like you know what I mean? For instance, I was playing with NERD, and was that was rock. And then I would went over to I had to play with Common, that was hip hop. Um, the drums, the Mapex drums, has always to me secured me as far as my sound. The first kid I ever played with Mapex was I think it was a I think it was a Saturn kit, to be honest. And it was a, at my friend's Daryl studio, and it was like. I was like, oh, okay. And I didn't know if it was the room that made it sound like that. But when I played at, like, at festivals, I was like, okay, this, these kids are, are kind of crazy. When I went on there uh, on the website, honestly, man, like the first thing I noticed that was, that was very, very, to me, that was very easy about it was, uh, you know, you can automatically pick, you know, a standard kit. You can pick, you know, your, the piece, you know, the, the, the piece of kit that you want. Uh, you had an easy variety from the gate. Um, after that, you know, you go to the next page and it's like you start right from the, right from the gate. Build it. You, you, you start with your stool, you know what I mean? You start with your seat and you go right from there to your, maybe your bass drum. You know, you get to pick your shells. Uh, you get to pick your finishes. You get to pick, you know, multiple finishes and shells. Like it's not just like one standard way, you know, one kit and this is what it is and this is the color and this is the shell that comes with it. Like you get to, you have a multiple var uh, variety of, you know, whatever you want. It was kind of like I, I like the color purple and and pink on kits. It was amazing because the the color that was already on uh, on on the Mapex site was like that was that was it. You know what I mean? And, and when I saw this color, it was like, no, that's 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 that should be the Wiz kit. It was just like something that just came to me. So this color alone was there. Um, I was like, you know, even more excited the fact that I didn't have to go through trying to build something even crazy. It was just like, bam, oh wow, that's it. Now I can just make my sizes and keep it moving.